time you travel Going where you wanna go Learning things, meeting people along the way you want to know. This is USA Golf and Travel with Mark Stewart and Rebecca Blackwell, your hosts for the show. Welcome to Bermuda. This is our Bermuda show. USA Golf and Travel is proud to come to Bermuda, a golf destination. And getting to Bermuda couldn't be easier with USA 3000 Airlines flying from the East Coast nonstop direct from Newark, New Jersey to Bermuda. And in under two hours, you've arrived. USA 3000 is certified to operate scheduled domestic and international flights. This airline specializes in flights to the Caribbean and Mexico. You can make your reservations on the web at www.usa3000.com or call 877-USA-3000. A short distance away from one of Bermuda's famous lighthouses is Riddles Bay. And here at Riddles Bay, you have a view that is commanding. And here at Riddles Bay, you'll find the home of Bermuda tradition, great golf, and the Goodwill Tournament. Good morning from sunny Bermuda. It's certainly my pleasure as Chief Operating Officer of Riddles Bay Golf and Country Club to welcome you uh, here today. Every golf course has their signature hole. Riddles Bay Golf and Country Club has uh, number eight, where you hit out to uh, a green that uh, stretches out into the uh, Great Sound. Uh, in the backdrop you have uh, the lighthouse, which uh, very often for those of us that hook the ball uh, can be our target. Wonderful par four. Obviously a lot of risk and a lot of reward. Uh, we're certainly uh, really proud of the views that you get uh, at Riddles Bay. In fact, you'll find that at most of the golf courses in Bermuda. It's the vistas um, that are just uh, spectacular. Ocean uh, side golf is, is, is uh, second to none. We've got beautiful Hamilton in, in, in the background and the great sound. Um, it's just, uh, it's breathtaking. We're always scouting at USA Golf and Travel for uh, golf pro-am tournaments that uh, we know that our viewers will really enjoy and will get the most out of and have a wonderful time. And Bermuda, what could be better? Tell us about the Goodwill, Bermuda Goodwill Tournament. Well, I tell you what, the Bermuda Goodwill is basically uh, one of the oldest programs in probably the world, I would say, uh, certainly in Bermuda's history. And it was originally designed in the 50s to bring visitors here to the island uh, during what we consider a slow period for tourism. And uh, it's just blossomed into what it is today, 52 years on. This year, um, trying to keep up with the history-making pace of the Goodwill, we're adding a fifth course. So we've got five rounds of golf three of them being private. Riddles Bay Golf and Country Club uh, is, is a private club, um, predominantly uh, maintained for the members and their guests, but given that Bermuda is such a, uh, a wonderful spot and we do have so many friends and tourists visiting us uh, each and every year, um, we love to uh, take care of them as well. So unlike typical private clubs, uh, we always make sure that we have spots to take care of our tourists, uh, tourist friends. USA Golf and Travel takes great pride in showcasing the courses of Bermuda. And here at Riddles Bay, it is a must play. We'd like to thank USA Golf and Travel for stopping by at Riddles Bay Golf and Country Club here in beautiful Bermuda. We look forward to uh, taking care of you when you come to Riddles Bay. Just imagine what it's like when you tee it up here at the St. George's Golf Club surrounded by the sea and the tropical breezes this robert trent jones gem comes to life we're at st george's golf course uh, behind me is the ninth and the tenth holes the uh, the ninth hole runs along the ocean uh, plays 145 yards over water if you hit it left you're going to be in the water the tenth hole plays 176 yards and once again you've got to be straight if you hit it left you run off down a hill and possibly out of bounds um, both holes you can see the, the ocean from, uh, as of all the holes on the golf course, and people tend to have their cameras in their hands more than the golf clubs, so it's a really good experience to play here. Bermudians love their golf, and this is one of their favorite courses, and you can see why. We're on the highest point of the course here, overlooking the 17th green. 
in the distance is the Fort St. Catherine and St. Catherine's Beach and then we can also see the the 14th green the 15th green and some of the 16th hole and right below us is a nice little cove called Coots Pond as we look down the 18th fairway to the clubhouse we've had a great day hi I'm Max Atherton the manager at St. George's Golf Course uh, I'd like to welcome all the visitors from USA Golf and Travel uh, when you're in Bermuda, we encourage you to come and play this golf course. It's, a, uh, it's not a long golf course, but it's a tricky golf course. It was designed by Robert Trent Jones. Uh, there's spectacular views on every hole, and I'm sure you would enjoy it when you come here. Thank you. Golfing at the St. George's Golf Club is great, but if you'd like a nice place to stay that's right beside it, here it is, the St. George's Club. The St. George's Golf Course is a great partnership between the St. George's Club. We offer discounts to the St. George's Golf Course and as well the resort sits right next to the the course itself so it's easy access. What's nice is that many of our members come here especially to play golf. So therefore what they do is when they arrive they rent a golf cart and use that for transportation to get to and from the golf course each week. As well, we do seasonally have a weekly golf tournament up at the St. George's Golf Course, which is a lot of fun and it's a great way to meet other people. Within St. George's Club, we have fantastic cottages to provide accommodation for you. We range from studios to one-bedroom cottages all the way up to two-bedroom cottages. Full kitchens, living room areas, dining room section, bedroom and bathroom, of course up to some of our two bedrooms that will include expanded living areas. At St. George's Club, we are a timeshare slash hotel resort, and it is a beautiful setting, as you can see. We have several amenities for our guests and members here at the resort. That includes two restaurants, Griffin's Restaurant, which is an upscale fine dining experience that is located right on property which also includes Griffin's Lounge, which is our on-site lounge and game and entertainment area. We also have Blackbeard's Hideout, which is about a mile from the resort and sits right next to Fort St. Catherine which, with a beautiful beach and quick access to the golf course. That's St. George's Golf Course. On-site, we also have a 24-hour fitness facility. There are so many activities going on here at the St. George's Club that you will never yearn for something to do, including managers' parties, barbecues, karaoke, and much more. The St. George's Club. Bermuda's Ocean View Golf Course, appropriately named as your vistas are a blue tropical sky, looking down with warm sea breezes on a meticulously manicured, tricky par 70 course. The first hole is a par 5 for the women and a par 4 for the men, and you must keep it straight down the fairway. There's lots of trouble on each side, and the bunkering on this first hole adds to the beautiful vistas. As we come to number 2, we find a 150-yard par 3, all uphill, and with the winds here, club selection is important. And once on this green, you see one of the views that make this course special. Alan Bradshaw, the starter ranger for Ocean View Golf Course, joined us to point out the beauty and the difficulties to help us around what we soon discovered is a premier nine-hole course. Now take a look at this par four hole number three. This view captures the glistening white rooftops of Bermuda in a panoramic setting. While waiting to tee off, I showed Alan my new pure spin driver with its new technology and he knocked it down the fairway over 300 yards. The greens in Bermuda will often fool you, but as you can see, Mark is the victor here for a long one. This is encouragement to go around again. My name is Dwayne Pimmer, and I'm the head golf professional here at Ocean View Golf Course. Here at Ocean View, we have nine holes. We have three par threes, we have two par fives, and four par fours, which is a great nine-hole golf course. It's really challenging. There's some uphills, some downhills. Um, there's some level lies as well, but you got some good lies, some very good hills out here. So I'm hoping you guys can come out and, and try, give us a try. You know, it's a great golf course. Now's the time to discover Bermuda's golf and spectacular ocean views. 
If you see yourself vacationing at a secluded resort with a private waterfront and sandy beach, here is the Ariel Sands Bermuda, a member of the Bermuda Collection, a select group of cottage colonies that are dedicated to offering guests finest accommodations and personal service. Something very special about the Ariel Sands, it's owned by Michael Douglas. His mother, Diana Dill's family, one of the oldest in Bermuda, built the Ariel Sands in 1954. Ariel Sands has 47 secluded intimate cottage units that face an unlimited view of the ocean. Its theme is based on Shakespeare's The Tempest. Hence, Ariel is welcoming all the warm sea breezes from the azure blue ocean. And the individual units are named after the characters in The Tempest. You will definitely have an intimate hideaway experience. In fact, you don't really have to leave the property. It has a beautiful freshwater outdoor pool. And after your day at the beach, don't miss an opportunity to experience Ariel Sands Day Spa. Hello and welcome to the spa at Ariel Sands. Now we know that you're golfers and travellers and we would love to see you down in our spa. We offer massages, facials, manicures, pedicures, body treatments and a hair salon. Please when you come to Ariel Sands, come see us. And they have a gym complete with exercise and cardio machines. Unique to the Ariel Sands and very popular with the guests, they really love it. The two saltwater ocean-fed lap pools, safe to be in and yet an opportunity to be right in the ocean. Just picture yourself sitting in these chairs in your own Bermudian-style cottage, looking at your private, relaxing and beautiful ocean view. I'm sure that Michael Douglas and Catherine Zeta-Jones would welcome you to their home away from home, the Ariel Sands Bermuda. But wait, there's more to tell you about the exclusive Ariel Sands. It's home to Aqua, one of Bermuda's leading fine dining restaurants. No need to look for the in place to eat while you're in Bermuda. We stopped by to meet Claudio Vigilante, the owner, and John Wason, head chef. Since we opened, we've taken Bermuda by storm. We've had reviews on the New York Times, Bon Appetit magazine, and a lot of foreign press. We are a formal restaurant, but very relaxed. We believe that food is fun. We concentrate on, on a great wine list. We have some great selection of wines uh, from a, a 1945 Chateau Latour of, for $4,000 to um, to a nice uh, Californian Chardonnay. If, if ever you come to Bermuda and you want great food in a beautiful atmosphere with a great view, can't go anywhere else but Aqua, so come and see us. Aerial Sands in Aqua, it's the thing to do in Bermuda. When you're in Bermuda, if you're an adult and you want to be free from the children, Harmony Club, all-inclusive, everything you want, swimming pool, they have three meals a day and beautiful rooms. We recommend it for the adults. Guests keep coming back year after year to the Harmony Club for so many good reasons. First, it's located right in the heart of Bermuda, near the South Shore beaches and the beautiful Elbow Beach. The staff receives you with a warm welcome and the general manager, Billy Griffith, is also there to make sure you're happy. All the daily activities are posted so you won't miss out. We heard many guests say how much they enjoyed the quiet pool and the intimate, even romantic, serene hideaway feeling at the Harmony Club. No wonder everyone on the East Coast wants to be in Bermuda. Look at all the sunshine all year round. Now the resort has a real colonial look, Bermuda style, and a huge putting green right in the center. Mark put in some of his own practice time. Everything is all-inclusive. And remember, golf's not everything. Don't forget to bring your tennis rackets, too. The Harmony Club has a beautiful setting on Bermuda, and the Great Bay Lounge hosts karaoke and dancing at night, and it's all-inclusive, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And there's one more special thing, free cocktails. You can't go wrong with that. If you're an adult, they're playing your tune at the Harmony Club. The Harmony Club is one of four properties in the Bermuda Resort Hotels Group. 
Great Bay Beach Hotel is also a member. All four hotels are uniquely different. The Great Bay Beach Hotel is on the South Shore and sits on a hillside which allows it to look out to the ocean with an unobstructed eye. Your days are unhurried here with time to relax by the pool and take in the sun. The Great Bay Beach Hotel is newly renovated so that everything is fresh and spotless. You feel right at home in its oversized living room, perfect for early morning continental breakfasts and time to think about, well, how fortunate you are to be in Bermuda. Combine all the elements you look for in a vacation. Delicious dining at Sapori Restaurant right on the Great Bay Beach property and breathtaking ocean views from your deluxe rooms. The Great Bay Beach Hotel has all this. This is the beautiful beach here at Great Bay. A great beach it is. But now we're going to see a great golf course, the Belmont Golf Course. We're at Belmont Hills Golf Club, and I'm with Dwayne Gibson. He's uh, one of the head professionals here at the course. And Dwayne, it's nice to have you on the show. Give me a pause. Thank here. you, my friend. Thank you. <laughs> nice to be here. Nice to be here. You know, this is our first trip to Bermuda, and we've really seen some beautiful courses, and this is no exception. This is a beautiful course here. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Well, Mr. Algie Pulley has done a fabulous job in uh, redesigning the golf course. Uh, we have a lot of molding on the, the edges of the fairways. Uh, the greens have been totally redone. Nice and soft. It can give you those beautiful uh, pro shots as they zip back <laughs> and you hit them into the greens. Since 1923, golfers have walked these fairways, and with its redesign, the future is shining bright. Let's take a look at number two. Uh, number two uh, is a very tight uh, hole. Out of bounds on the right and on the right side of the car path. Uh, we have a bunker in the left side of the fairway that is very reachable if you're a driver. Um, most people take an iron, three iron off the tee to come short of that, but it leaves you with about a 150, 160 yard second shot to a very treacherous green. It has three tiers uh, from the front of the green to the back of the green. It's roughly about 35, 40 yards. So if the pin's up the back, and your ball is down the front of the green, you're going to have a very, very tough putt. Be looking at a four putt easy. <laughs> Number three, it's a drivable par four right over those palm trees. But the safe shot is to lay up to the right, giving you a short iron into the hole. As you can see, it's a three tiered green with lots of trouble on each side. And number four, what a hole this is. On this hole, you need a good swing, a good ball, and maybe even a little help from the golfing gods. As you can see, it's a very treacherous hole with three tiers. And where that pin is today, uh, you need to hit that ball in the left corner of the green. Now, I hit a pretty good shot here. But I went from looking at a birdie to hoping I get a par. We're very proud to be associated with the Goodwill. We want to welcome all our visitors and pros to the island. Uh, while you're here, please enjoy the beautiful scenery, the great hospitality on the island, and please enjoy our wonderful service here at Belmont Hills. The 17th Green is getting ready for the Goodwill Tournament, and it'll be ready for you when you come to Bermuda. For your perfect, luxurious stay in Bermuda, here are two of Bermuda's great resort hotels. One is the centerpiece of Bermuda's business and social life, right in the heart of Hamilton. The other is a picturesque tropical paradise, with its own private beach and breathtaking views across the island. The Fairmont Hamilton Princess and the Fairmont Southampton Resort. These two sister properties share all the luxury amenities that each has to offer. Mark and Rebecca, I'd like to welcome you to Bermuda, the jewel of the Atlantic. And I'd like to extend a special welcome to your viewers to Bermuda and the Fairmont Southampton, Bermuda's largest resort hotel. We have 593 rooms situated on 100 acres of pristine prime property 
here in the beautiful parish of Southampton. There are six restaurants on the property, our world-renowned spa, the Willow Stream Spa, for which uh, Fairmont has become very famous, our own beach, dive, golf, tennis facilities, and we also operate a complimentary ferry, which run, runs between the two hotels here in Bermuda, the Fairmont Southampton and the Fairmont Hamilton Princess. One of the most famous comments that we hear from our guests that stay with us here at the Fairmont is how well they are treated. And uh, it is really a sophisticated elegance uh, in a relaxed atmosphere, which uh, we have certainly become synonymous with here on the island. I would like to invite all of your viewers to come to Bermuda and when considering a visit to Bermuda that they will consider the Fairmont Southampton and remember that those things which have made Bermuda famous and uh, keeps our guests coming back year after year, it's safe, it's clean and the people are very, very friendly and they are very, very close to home. Now all aboard the Princess Ferry which takes us from one pink lady to another pink lady. Good evening and welcome to the Fairmont Hamilton Princess. My name is Scott Hoadley. I'm the Director of Operations and it's my pleasure to welcome you to Bermuda's only luxury urban resort. Located on the beautiful shores of Hamilton's Inner Harbor, this full service property offers a number of state-of-the-art amenities, business center, restaurant, 24-hour room service. We've got two absolutely gorgeous pools here for your use. Each and every year, the Goodwill Games are held here in Bermuda, and we're delighted to be a part of the success of that event. The guests at Hamilton Princess are fortunate enough to have access to all of the facilities at the Fairmont Southampton. We look forward to welcoming you to Bermuda so that you can experience her traditions, her beauty, her wonderful golf, her unique hospitality, and Bermuda's only luxury urban resort, the Fairmont Hamilton Princess. One of the most dramatic golf course addresses in Bermuda is right here, the Port Royal Golf Course. Opened in 1970, designed by renowned golf course architect Robert Trent Jones Sr. The course is beautifully maintained, and like all Robert Trent Jones courses, the par threes are spectacular. Take number eight, for example, a par three, 200 yards from the tip. It looks like you're shooting right out into the ocean. And if you take too much club, that's exactly where you'll be. This is a course that Rebecca and I really love. Number 15 is not only a great par four, but it's part of Bermuda's living history. And this is where we meet Frank Rebain world golfer and great ambassador for Bermuda. This is Whale Bay Ford, which was built in 1876, and it is represents the protection of the island. It, like if ships came in here during World War II, they'll be able to, you know, they'll be able to protect it. This view is a perfect advantage for us to take a look at hole number 15. Can you tell us uh, how to play this hole? Well, 15, it's, it's, you have to be very careful. You've got trouble on the right and trouble on the left. Now, what we do, we generally take uh, the medium golfers or the good golfers will probably take a, like a four iron, three iron, and just hit it out here in the center, then have an eight or seven to the green. Just below it is number 16. We're going to go down and take a look at that now. Fine. That's a beautiful hole. Postage stamp. Postage stamp. Much better than Troon. <laughs> Those of you who have played at Troon will notice the difference right off. There are no planes out of Presswick. The water is crystal clear. And the temperature is just right. This is one of the most beautiful holes in the world right here, folks. This is, uh, this is really stunning, looking out over this beautiful aqua ocean out here. It, it's, it's just something. I could sit here for another hour, but I, I've already got guys in back of me <laughs> yelling at me. But th This is beautiful for You me. know, I'll tell you, I tell this to all the people that come here. At one time, we had some Germans here playing, and it got, it got kind of dark, so we couldn't find them. We didn't know where they were, but they came right here, find the cards in the foot, and they was down the bottom there swimming nude. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where we find them. <laughs> but they enjoyed it, and um, in fact, they come back every year. 
Well, I don't blame him. <laughs> I've heard so many people talking about the 16th hole here, and now I see why. I think he's right. It is better than Troon. No, shh. <laughs> One of the most scenic and spectacular views to the ocean on the island of Bermuda is the eighth hole on the Port Royal Golf Course. And within a stone's throw is the Pompano Beach Club, a family-owned boutique resort perched on the hillside right beside the golf course, with all of its guest rooms facing the pure, clean, aqua blue waters. This view, this golf course, and this beautiful hotel resort are reason enough to come to Bermuda. Welcome to Pompano Beach Club in Bermuda. My name is Larry Lamb. I'm the general manager. It's nice to have you with us. Pompano is a bit of an unusual uh, hotel. It's a family business, and we've actually been here in Bermuda for about 50 years. My dad originally started it when he was a senior in college. It was a fishing club, kind of evolved it to a fishing club restaurant and then into a hotel. As we sit today, we're on 14 acres of property, and there's 60 guest rooms. One of the most unusual situations here of this hotel is that all the rooms face out over the water. So as you look out this beautiful expanse of sand, this is a giant sandbar. And at low tide, you can actually walk out about 350 yards, and it's only about three and a half feet deep. Um, but it allows, being that we're kind of terrace on a hillside, it allows all our guest rooms to face out over the water side. And having 14 acres and just 60 rooms, it's kind of a country clubby feel that we have here, but yet without that snob appeal that often goes with a country club. Our menu in our restaurant changes every single night. There's always a fresh Bermuda fish. There's always a black Angus beef. So there's basically things for everybody to choose from on the menu. One of the things that is appealing as well is that you can sit outside. Sitting outside dressed casually is a bit more comfortable, especially in the summer months. The island has more golf courses than they have days of the week. We're blessed by having eight courses on the island. Um, here at Pompano, we adjoin the Robert Trent Jones Port Royal Golf Course, which is right next door to us. Uh, we can pre-book starting times up to a year in advance, and for those who want to wander over, it's about a 450-yard walk. Others, it's about a minute and a half in our little shuttle van that goes back and forth. We, uh, we certainly do golf year-round. We have a, a couples tournament, a seniors tournament, and a ladies pro-am tournament. They're all based at Port Royal Golf Course. Pompano Beach Club is exclusive enough to offer its guests personalized service. And with its own private pink sandy beach, you'll indulge in the shores of the southwest coastline. Or dip into its oceanside freshwater heated pool with pool bar. The guest rooms face the pool and all look to the ocean. Even the fitness gym overlooks the beach and sunsets. Pompano Beach Club is right in the center of Bermuda's golf courses and has a perfect cove for water activities. Guests return year after year, and so will you. We'd certainly love to welcome you. Um, here in Bermuda, basically you're a big fish in little waters. If you let us come down and show you what the island's about, I think you'll find that you won't want to go anywhere else. Bermuda truly is the perfect island. Before we leave today, a special thanks to Jimmy Bailey and all his crew for helping us here on USA Golf and Travel get the most out of our trip here to Bermuda. Thanks, Jimmy. Now a word from our touring host, Jimmy Bailey. On behalf of uh, Bermuda Island Destination Management and four of our top uh, drivers, uh, we would like to have thank uh, Rebecca and Mark for coming to Bermuda. On this show, you've seen some of the finest golf courses in the world. Great resorts, fine dining, and some wonderful beaches. Bermuda, it's about all those things and more. Its colorful past is around every corner. And the best way for you to experience all that Bermuda has to offer, not only the sights, but the stories behind them, is through Bermuda Island Destination Management. They're looking out for you. Next time you actually are looking for a vacation, why not visit Bermuda, visit Bermuda Island Destination Management, and you'll get to meet four of our top drivers. Thanks again, and we look forward to seeing you in the future. And they're located at the airport. USA. Once again, we'd like to thank USA 3000 Airlines for the best way to go to Bermuda. Learning things, meeting people along the way. You'll want to know USA, golf and travel, meet old friends and new ideas from north to south. From sea to shining sea.